Hello there lads and ladies and welcome once again back to Divinity Original Sin. So it's time for us probably to head back via our teleportation method and uh, see what we can see including that star stone and all the rest of that stuff. So let's teleport back. Okay, we can go to any waypoint portal. Uh, the end of time, Cecil West, Cecil Harvest, Cecil Beach, Cecil... Northgate, I guess. That was a strange sound. So, time to teleport on back and see what we can see in that murder scene. And also probably take that star stone, whatever that has to do with this entire situation. What it has to do with the murder of this fella in this town, uh, we still don't really know. Taking a little while to load in here. We get to listen to some nice piano planking. Alright, here we are. This is pretty close. I'm pretty sure this is not the place. It must be over here. Here we go. This is the one we want. What's this? Teleporter Pyramid. It's strange. And there's the lady in the bath here. Who no doubt is going to get rather annoyed if we break in. But, um... Maybe she won't get too annoyed if one of our uh, female uh, friends go in there. There we go. So here's that inert stone, the star stone. Let's go get it. And this guy's wondering, oh, I saw you go in there, and now I'm seeing you go in there again. Hmm, I better lay off the uh, wine. So we can take some paintings, some candles, a mirror. Looking good, indeed. Some pillows, painting of a woman. The chest here. Oh, we've unlocked it with, um... I don't know what, but there's a letter from Duke Ferrell. Okay. It's official. The Duke of Ferrell is the worst poet in Rivalon. In his defense, not much rhymes with murder. Okay. Uh, Ernest Esme, your lips are red as emeralds. Okay. <laughs> your hair is black as birch. Your love is like uh, cholesterol. Oh, my heart, it hurts. Fair enough. I want to hold you in my arms and stroke your little head. And all this would be easier if Councillor Jake were dead. Forever yours, the D of F. Fair enough. So, um... The Duke of Ferrell wants him to be dead, but did he perform the act? That is a, uh, another question. I noticed we're like sort of plodding around in uh, blood here, but um, I'm going to gonna take some of these paintings because last time I checked, paintings had a nice little price tag on them. Um, can we move this? I want to move this chest. I oh, can't move the tub. I can move the chest, though. So, there's some information about Esme. So, Esme probably isn't the culprit, but the Duke of Ferrell. Have we met the Duke of Ferrell? Who's this guy? Can't really tell. Oh, no, it does say Francis. Short history of the seven gods. Okay, let's, let's, let's bugger off out of here, right? So the Duke of Ferrell. I guess we take this... Who could have missed this letter, though? It's kind of obvious, isn't it? Hmm. What's this? Town Hall Bathroom. Welcome to the Town Hall Bathroom. Please bring matches. Okay. This is Duke of Ferrell. Cecil. I don't know if it's the Duke, though. It's the mayor of Cecil's office. Oh, hello there. So, tell me about yourself. Let's have, let's have um, a, a wooden stake. Maybe we should take that for um, dispatching of uh, perhaps um, vampires and like, ah, Source Hunter, ah, what a sight for Sir Cecilian eyes. 
Me, I live alone here in the town. It used to be my younger brother Tom and I were practically joined at the hip, but that's all changed now. What happened to your brother Tom? He's always been something of a rascal, calling his petty hoogalinism, <laughs> adventuring, and endlessly worrying my poor mind, but of course I've always loved the scamp to bits. For my part, I encouraged him to join the Legion, even got him sparring with the Captain Arnius now and then, but then uh, those bastard Fabulous Five came into town. Oh, hello. That band, I don't even know what to call them, well, they're his heroes, and I simply couldn't prevent him from going to see them. Uh, that one meeting was all it took for Tom to run off with them on some mission to God knows where. Until we meet again. Hmm, interesting. Well, See. hello there. Pet Pal allows you to converse with animals. And we don't have it. Though they speak strangely in English quite well. Well, hello there. Seesaw. Um, someone wants Victoria dead. What? Why can we say this? That's news to me. Oh, he's got some stuff on him. He's got an amulet here. What's this? Intelligence plus one. Not too bad, really, is it? I'll go to Roderick. I think if I click this, I can see his... Oh, no, that's just the equipment he has. Okay. We'll leave it then. Um, someone wants Victoria dead. I met your pet Maxine. Can you tell me about your library? Well, let's, let's just leave. I'm not sure what to say to this guy. I don't think he's the um, the Duke of Feral or whatever it is. I'm sure I've met the Duke of Feral or something. Or read about him or heard about him. I'm not sure. Let's, let's go see Captain Arnius. Maybe he's the one we want to talk to about this little note. Because at least we have, um, that is a gate over here. Where is the... It's somewhere around here. Is this it? Where are we looking here? Okay, let's, let's go over here nonetheless. I think it's over here somewhere. There we go. We can see inside. Yeah, this is the place. This is the place. Right, let's head here. A little bit of trekking. We'll get there eventually. Right, here we go. So you got Arnius in here. Maybe we should talk to... Let's talk to Arhu first. Right, Arhu. I want to talk to you. Um, let's talk about Source Hunter business. Let's discuss Jake's murder. Um, what happened the night of the murder? together a few morsels of the grapevine. I think I've read this before. Okay, Jake's wife has Merelda. Let's discuss Jake's corpse. Change the subject. We can buy stuff from him still. Weren't there some spells I wanted to get from him still? Like, um... Summon spider. You can only have one summon at a time. Now I don't want the spider because it's not really an elemental monster. I think I wanted this boulder bash. But we might not be able to afford it. I don't think we have enough stuff, so we'll leave it. Let's discuss Jake's corpse. Okay, we've got some journal information. It might be a bit late to inspect the body in that it has already been buried. It may be worth your while to speak to the mortician, though. A chap called Roberts. He has a house and by the graveyard. Um, do you know about the ancient king called Bracchus? Bracchus. I've read about him, of course. And the last of the sorcerer kings. A madman who was defeated right here in Cecil. In fact, many of the ruins you can find to the east beyond the city walls used to be palaces and temples built during his reign. They were used as quarries afterwards when they were constructing the town you see here today. Bracchus himself was buried somewhere nearby, but no one knows where the actual grave is, and a good thing too, imagine the necromancers to, uh, at work getting hold of a creature like him. 
Okay, let's change the subject. Let's, let's, let's get out of here. Maybe we should talk with the mortician, but we do have some interesting information, but no one seems to be interested in our information, which is uh, strange. Okay, let's talk with uh, Arnius in here. Maybe we can get some information out of him. Um, let's discuss Jake's murder. In regards to Jake's wife, Esmeralda, Esmeralda is Jake's wife. Well, widow. Everyone in town is down to the crabs on the beach. Is convinced she killed him. Now the girl is the reputation of being a flirt. There is that. But that doesn't suffice as evidence. Wouldn't you say? Or do you source hunters rely on hearsay alone, perhaps? That certainly would explain some of the cock-ups you lot have made in the past. What, you're going to stand there and claim with a straight face your order never wrongly tortured and executed any anyone? Hardly, but I won't stand for such nonsense. If you bring evidence before me, I'll evaluate it with perfection, objectively. The Legion relies on reason, see? No idle superstition. On the subject of this letter, here we go. <clears throat> like I said, the girl's known to be a flirt, but that sob of feral doesn't have the metal to commit murder, and as far as I'm concerned, neither does she. Uh huh. Okay, so we do need more information, definitely. That's un understandable, frankly. Um, just want to take a look at some of these abilities here. We've got that helping hand. And then the battering ram, encourage. And then what's this? Damage, crit chance down. Okay. I want this actually. Lower resistances. That sounds like a cool spell. Let's see if we can manage to afford that actually. Because we could do with another spell, I think. <clears throat> um, it's quite a bit of money we got there, but we need more. Got this ruby. This is up to nine hundred. I think we're going to fall shy there. Okay. Cancel this. We might do that later. Anyway, so we have some interesting information. The Duke of Feral is probably, yeah, he may not have it in him to do it himself. But he might, you know, he might be able to get someone to do it for him. As for her, we do have some information regarding some strange secret sort of entrance into her little place here. That we checked out a little bit, but... As far as I can tell, there is no easy access. Which is a little bit tough. So how are we going to do this? Where are we going to go? What are we going to do? Um, I'm so interested about this. This teleportation pyramid. Because we're probably going to get in trouble if we go into here. But there you go. Do we have a lockpick? I think we do somewhere. I'm pretty sure we did pick one up a while ago. Where is it? Hmm, I don't see it. Maybe if I, um, consumables. No, that doesn't bring it up. Maybe like tools or something. Keys. Miscellaneous. Magical. Ah, it comes under equipment, okay. Okay, so no, we don't have any lockpicks. I swear we picked some up, but clearly we haven't. Okay, we'll leave it then. And we're not barge in there. We'll probably get in trouble if we did anyway. So let's let's go to the old mortician. He's over here. Because we had a chat with him before, but he was very not willing to cooperate whatsoever. We've got some corpses over here. We've got this Robert's Ledger. This isn't exactly locked away, and it's not exactly like anyone's watching here either. Come on. I'm trying to click on the door to close it. Let's have a look quickly. Right, 
Let's have a quick read of this, eh? Um, I guess this is all we have written, like the interesting information. Furthermore, I find it impossible that any but the Mayor Cecil, Captain Arnius, e e e Evelyn, or Esmeralda would have been able to gain access to the body without my noticing. A corpse can't just vanish into thin air, and even if it could, it's not as though a strong wind could blow a sack of gold into the empty slab. No, one of them must have been involved, but it, as long as no one goes digging up Jake's coffin, I don't see how the crime could ever be traced back to me. Interesting. Looks like the mortician is rather suspicious about Jake. What could Mayor Cecil, Captain Aureus, or Evelyn have to do with it? Hmm. Well, we've got some information here. Should we talk to him, or would that be a bad idea? Hmm. Let's not speak to the him. Maybe we should speak to Arnius, but the problem is, is Arnius might be involved. Because Arnius isn't above suspicion, really. Just because he's the captain of the guard doesn't mean anything. Um, there may be deeper... Deeper pl plots and plans that lay in place. Hmm. Guess we could just keep a hold of the book for now, think about it. Maybe go off into the wilderness and find some things to fight. Maybe we can fight all of these guys up here. I think we're like level... Level are we? Level 4 now. We're getting up towards 5. So, um... Yeah, let's give it a try. Why not? So we've got a bunch of interesting spells to make use of, which should be pretty cool. Hopefully we can make a very good use of them. I'm just thinking we have to take out, like, um... The casters as primary targets, really. Because we've got... what do we got? We've got, like, a few melees. We've got the mage here. Target is invisible. Why is he invisible? Oh, well, the fight has started. Make her wait. Can she see? Target is out of sight. Hmm. Great if we could hit this guy with this. Maybe we could teleport him down. Can't hit any of them. Because if we could teleport one down, we could take it on on its own sort of thing. Like seclude it and take it out. Oh, the mage is moving to the edge. Will we be able to see him? Wow, he got a lot of movement out of that. But we're going to bring him down to us. Then that way we can get the mage on his own and take him out. The melees have to run all the way around, so they got a trek on their hands. That guy is not doing anything, seemingly. Go on, take your action, thank you. Um, let's hit the... where is that wait button where you wait for your action or whatever? Delay your turn, that's what I want. There we go for the bouncy shot. There we go, nice bit of damage. It's out of sight, come on. Come on, man. There you go. Bring him down here. And then we will fire some oil over here. And then I'll make use of that next turn to, uh... Hopefully burn them. Um, her turn is going to come last, which I'm not a fan of. I thought it would uh, not delay it this much, but there you go. 
archers ain't able to get us, which is good. Because hopefully I'll be able to nuke them with fire. Some of these melees aren't moving at all. Here we go. Go get him. Fish wash bash. This is immune to poison. Oath of uh, de Desecration spell work. Okay. We will uh, make her wait. She gets her turn coming around again. Delay her turn. The uh, accuracy is pretty bad. Delay the turn. Fireball. Small fireball. Burn! Baboom! There we go. Now hopefully these guys will burn to crisps. Oh, we got a shot incoming. Oh! Bit of hurt, but we're good. We're fine. We just need to finish them up. That way they will lose all their ranged capabilities. And since the melees seem to be practically everywhere... Whoever uh, heal, heal yourself up. Why not? Delay the turn. I could go for some very low percentage shots. Thirty-one percent. One in three chance. Paid off. I'm going to move a little bit. Move her up a tad. Let's actually pick that up, actually. Just uh, just to stop it from going away. Some silver arrows. Whisper wood, whisper wood. No, wait there. 26%, 1 in 4 chance. Nice! Luck favors us this day. Our poor little mage is on fire. Mm. He's burning a little badly. It's fine. We'll just um, have him chill out around here. The fire should go out relatively quick. There we are. One of the melees is actually getting up and around. See, this is how we should take fights on. I mean, frankly speaking, the ranged enemies really didn't make use of their capabilities. Let's see, we could rush this fella. Like that. Target is blocked. Go here and bosh. Knockdown failed. We did 70 odd damage. 83 damage. Gonna have to wait though on the next turn. I don't think the shot is possible. Oh no, the shot is just possible through a very slight angle. But, um. 36%. Get two shots. Oh, that's me clicking on the tree by accident. Which isn't too bad. It could be worse. Finish him off with a fireball. Because that ain't gonna miss. Very good, right. I guess let's move up on the enemy then. Let's take the fight to them. I do like that we've given um, good old um, Roderick like a series of like spells now to use. It feels much more like um, like he's capable of more basically, because he he was quite sort of you know limited in his capabilities before. Okay. Here he comes, <clears throat> slowly but surely. We'll swap over some more turns, we'll just save these action points. Just don't want to get Roderick accidentally killed or something. 11 action points in total to do this action, but we will get another melee out of it. Okay. Oh, it's 5 points, damn. That's no good. Mm. 
There we go. Nice bit of damage poured into him. What can we do to finish this? Mm, no, that isn't very damaging. Let's go for this. There we go. That guy just refuses to move at all. This fella hopefully is just going to die from burning. Yep, yeah, there we go. That makes our life easy. We've got an unidentified rondel dagger there. We've just got a bunch of other items just littering the place. I've got to be careful of these fires. I shouldn't run through them. There we go. Use our action points to move her up. We'll do the same with Roderick. Okay, we'll just move her here. Into the open a little bit. All action points used. Seven action points to get him up. There we go. Now he's coming. Good. That's what we want. Oh, wow. He got all the way there, but he didn't get any actions. So now he's going to be chopped down like a tree. <laughs> like so. Perfect. There we go. Now we've got some armor. Some antique leather armor. Because antique means good in armor terms. Um, look at all this stuff. Make ourselves nice and rich. Now got some more stuff down the bottom we're getting. Some whisper wood up here. So now this area is cleared out. We can have a little look up here. But yeah, I think it's a really good idea for your mage to have a a good sort of vocabulary when it comes to magics. Being able to throw down the oil and then throw fire at the oil just it adds that extra damage that really is quite nice. Catch a group of archers in a situation like that, they're toast. They're just warm, buttery toast. There we go, some arrows and a spear. There we go, right. Give the arrows to her. And then let's identify. What do we got here? We got um a nice little dagger, leadership, HP, seems quite nice. We don't really need it. An outdated spear. It's um it's alright, isn't it? It's um Hand this to her. And then we can have an actual look in comparison. So yeah, it's much lower, really. The axe is very powerful. And then we'll have a dagger off to her. We need to get her deck sort up, really, so she can use her items. Right, let's do some healing. Our oh, good old Roderick, he's down low. Right, let's move. So basically that fight was just for some XP and treasure, really, I guess. And also to clear the route. So the route is now accessible. Now, um, I would really like some sort of, like, um, water magics to take these things on. Like some ice and water sort of magic would be really nice. But uh, I don't think we have anything of that type. At all. I wonder, can we just sort of like, you know. Yeah, you can just sort of throw lots of oil out there, I guess. It's not like it costs mana or anything. And the oil isn't exactly going to go away quickly.
very interesting. I don't know if this is going to help us, but <laughs> whatever. We're creating a wall of oil. It's just the, uh, it might cause an explosion that might, um, debilitate our, uh, our fiery enemies here. But, um, as far as I know, they don't take fire damage. I think that'll do. Right, we can summon up. I don't know if we actually need to control that thing. Oh, he's quite, quite, quite a big little fella, isn't he? Can we control him? No, he just seems to be sort of auto-controlled. He, he looks, he looks cooler than these little buggers, anyway. You know, look at him. Pretty beastie. Right. What's this? One. Is he going to disappear when that hits zero? Indeed he is. Okay. So he really needs to be sort of summoned in combat. It's not like... Oh, the oil's gone as well. <sighs> well. Let's summon him up all the way over here. I don't think the enemy can actually see him. Which is a little bit annoying. Let's try that again. We'll summon him here this time. We actually took some damage from the fire elemental exploding behind us. Which isn't great. But uh, we'll deal with it. We're gonna do some uh, some weights. That mage is coming for our face, but he doesn't have enough action points to do anything right. So he's got elemental blazes, but he can also just go in for the attack. I think use the elemental blazes on this guy. Okay, he is immune to burning. Okay. I, I was hoping the Pyromancer wouldn't be immune to fire. See, we can use our summon as a sort of uh, meat shield to take on these uh, fiery elemental bastards. Right. Target is too far. There we go. Well, she did a lot of damage to him, but cannot quite get the finisher. Hmm. Should we just go for the shot? Should we go for the multi shot? Sorry, it's too far. That, that bloody fire elemental has caused a lot of problems exploding so close to us. There we go. Pyromance is going down. In fact, we can pick him up. Drop him over here. Oh, I was hoping he would damage the, uh, the elemental fella, but it turns out he didn't. Have him wait there. Reserve those last points. Okay. That wasn't great. Here we go. Right. Melee time. That's what we want out of that guy. We just want him to fight. Oh god. They're getting a lot of hits. That's that guy gone. Alright, we've got the Infernal Golems. We can finish off the Pyromancer, perhaps. We'll just go for a spin. Good job. We got rid of the Annoyance. Right. 
Just keeping an eye on our guys. Right, let's go for the fire elemental. Go for the face. What have we got? We've got 43% chance of hitting. So that's, that's not bad. Oh, another hit, please. Good job on ya. Nice. Right. Now, if we summon up another fire elemental, just um, here. Hopefully that will take their attention and draw them away from us. Back him off a little bit. Is this the one that got hurt? Ooh, apparently... I think this guy's healing them when he hits them, actually. Yeah, I think he takes like a bunch of points of damage, but then he heals some fire damage as well. Because our fire ele elemental does all fire-based damage, he doesn't actually... Um... We'll move here. That's kind of a barrier, I guess. End combat turn. Oh god, more fire everywhere! The fire's annoying. What have I got here? This won't cure anything useful. Activate power stance. We'll just wait that turn. There's this fella. We will do some casting. Do some nice air damage. Too bad we don't have any sort of water magics. Shall we move this guy, like, into the fire or something? He'll heal up from it. Oh, attack of opportunity. And hopefully they'll chase after... No, they ain't going for him. That guy is. Okay, that's good enough, actually. That one gets distracted is good enough. Right. To the face. To the face again. Save that point. 63% chance. That's good enough. No, a miss is not great. Come on, you're supposed to be landing these hits. You call yourself an archer. Right, let's get that blind. Blind failed. Not great, because now it's going to hurt. Lots of hits. This one's coming in. Heal yourself. Big heals. Give him a smack. Nice! And that takes away the negative effect. Okay. If we move her. Let's see. If I move her just here. Just get to a nice angle. A miss. Come on. You need to land those hits. This isn't the freaking archery range where you can bloody afford to miss. You gotta land them. Blinded. Great. Perfect. We'll create some oil just behind him. Okay, that, that I don't think that helped. <laughs> In fact, I don't think that helped at all. But while he's blind, he can't do anything. So, chop away. Cut down that tree. Okay, he's not blind anymore. I think he's recovered from his blind. Well, we got this fight in the bag. One mob left on such low HP ain't going to be able to do not much. Oh, God. There's four attacks. Come on. Come on. Chop, chop. Good stuff. There we go. And there's our win. We've got some items we can grab. An ice shard scroll. Too bad that isn't a spell, because that would actually be really useful if it was an ice shard spell. Because then I could have told... um. Fucking uh, Roderick to learn it. Oh, we got some level ups actually. Supply these levels. So, what skills do we have? Um, what do we want? I should say more actually. Personality. 
skills. We could save up again. Because I think we've got like one skill in all of his various magic things. It may actually be worth saving up that skill. We didn't get an, uh, an attribute point. We don't get any talents. Just like we didn't get much at all. No, we didn't get anything here. We only got from here. Um, she's got one point weapons. We've got the one point of bows, one point of crossbows. And his skills, she's got expert marks in two. We're going to need a lot of points for upgrading that. Um, Lore Master 1, that's kind of annoying. I wish I could take that point and redistribute it. We'll just have to leave it like that then, I guess. Okay, right, anyway. Let's take her weapon. Because her weapon really gets freaking munched quick. Give it a good old repairing. Come on, equip it. Thank you. We've got the crossbow here, but we're waiting on dexterity for that. We need one more dex and then she can use her, which would be nice. Because that crossbow is quite powerful. Just actually need to get that one point off dexterity. Right, can we heal? Yes, we can. Good. Good job we got that nice heal. Didn't mean to do that. Right, I want these mushrooms. I want to try and not get caught on fire by the various flames that are everywhere. So what's this that we can see down to? Let's have a look. It's just a nice beach over the other side. Nice little waterfall. So we've got some treasure and we've got a trap door. Alright, let's check the chest. There you go. I've got a spear. There you go. What's in here? Uh, let's save, because I haven't done it in a while. It would be a very, very good idea to save, opposed to losing a lot, a lot of progress. What do we got in here? Other than loads of candles. Got a rat. Can't communicate with the rat. I'd love to communicate with the rat, but we do not have the correct skills. It's like, um... Oh, it's like these four tower things again. And there's another one of these sort of markers. Here we are. Earth, water, air, fire. In the cell's double. In this cell's double, your double will face your ally. It's exactly the same as the other place. Exactly the same. I don't understand what they are, though. Can't do any mining, that's fine. So again, we've got these strange statues I have no clue about. It's very abstract and strange. Sort of work out what the heck it does. But, uh, I guess we'll just leave it. We've, we've got it accessible, nonetheless. That's, I guess, an important thing. We can handle level 5s now. We've even got a couple of level 5s on our team now. There's that huge pile of iron ore that is now just a feature. It's like the sword in the stone, basically. It's like the unmovable unmo iron ore from the middle of the roads. Just it'll become one of those attractions. Like, ah, oh, who can lift up the iron ore and move it from this place? Without breaking their back. I don't know how to get down here, but I still don't know. Um, let's take a look at our map. Because we've got this interesting sort of structure place over here. Maybe that's where we should check out. I don't know what level the mobs were there. So, mm, that's, that's too close to these enemies. We'll aggro them. Let's go around. So, we'll head around. And we'll go over and check this castle. Because I can't remember what level the things were there. And it might be worth exploring. Um, we might actually be high enough level now to handle it. And if we can't, then we can always go this way, because this stuff is level 5 now. And with some good tactics, we should be able to win. Right there. It's just up here now. 
towards this, and then we've got those fiery patches. Because there's these fellas in here. I guess we could use this to make flour. Interesting enough. Level 8. Okay, that's a bit much for us. Way, way too much, actually. Did you hear that? Let's go back this way, then. Because I did see that there was actually a cave along this route. If we face these enemies. Just going to be smart about how we face them. We don't want to get gored by those um, nasty tusks. There we go. So, got a boar, an enraged zombie boar. Okay, not quite in sight. Right, we're going to back up a bit. I'm going to make use of ground here. We're going to force the enemies to come towards us. If I move them here, then we can still use a midnight oil. This is what I want to do. I want to lay a trap for them. <clears throat> and then when they get close, hopefully we'll be able to do a lot of damage to a lot of them. What's he doing? What's he up to? Blessed. Okay. Okay, here come the boars. They can't run very far. Let's put her up here. We'll have you wait as well. Right, let's get some more oil out here. Then we can always summon up a fire elemental into the middle of the fire. Okay, he's progressing through the oil. The pig is coming. We might have to fire off now to make use of the oil. There's some damage for you. Pretty strong. They're not going to be easy to take down. Right. Shall we move up? Let's not risk it. Let's delay your turn. Fire off a fireball. There we go. And burn them all. He's gone. He is in a serious amount of trouble. Boar is burning too. Now got some enemy boars moving around the fire. Now we've got to level up here. Can we uh, do anything cool? We've got two available points. How much do we need for this? We need three points. Defenses. Some skills. Mana arm skills could go up. Personality. Charisma could go up. Let's get the mana arm skill up. Because we're going to need that. Because I think she could do actually with some more spell unlocks. Because I believe... Yeah, now she's got two more slots to actually add skills. There we go. That's him gone. Now will back her up. Just so she doesn't get caught on fire or blown up or something. Because there's a little bit of nasty gas there. Do we have like an oil arrow or something? No, we don't have an oil arrow. 
20% chance. It's a bit bad to be taking pot shots at 20%. I right, know we've created a wall of fire that our enemy shall not pass. Wildfire. It's a nice buff that we could apply. Maximum AP, starting AP, recovery AP, boosts movement. Oh, the pig managed to somehow squeeze through that little tiny gap, through the rock. I don't know how he managed that. Well. We're causing him to explode somewhat, but his HP isn't going down that much. Seven action points. Gonna move here. Come on, you could have done that better. Crikey, that thing's taking a beating. Just summon up a fire elemental. Get him into the fight. Okay, that guy gets a go first. He's blessing a pig. It's a blessed pig. It's pork show taste magnificent. Can we fire on this guy? Undead priest, eat fireballs. And then beat up this pig. Oh, it requires five action points. Fair enough. Okay. We'll, we'll leave him there, though, because um, the pig receives penalties for being close to two enemies. 62%? Good enough. We can't reach from there. We need to move up. Perhaps we can reach from here, though. Go get him. Attack of opportunity. That's interesting for a mage to get an attack of opportunity like that. Oh, fire element was toasted. Still wait around. Let us go for the teleport and let's grab the mage. Let's drop him right here. In the fire. Burn him to death. Easy mode. Piggies are on fire. Piggies don't care. They're running through the fire. Okay. Multi shot. Kablam. Yeah, something's healing them. Because that, that blue text, I'm pretty sure, indicates a heal. Yeah, see? Look at that. Damage, damage, and a heal. Oh, well, that pig isn't going to get through there without blowing up. That's interesting. Ooh. Oh, we can't delay the turn now because we've moved. And combat turn, it's fine. It's fine. Piggies are going down. Blessed pork for everyone! Oh, it just exploded. And now this road is <laughs> the sign of a true battle, I guess. Interesting. Well, there you go. You have to, um... How are we going to deal with it? No one barely got hurt as well. That was really well done. I don't think... Did we take any damage? I think the only thing that took damage, actually, was our summon. Which is a really good way to play it, because the summon doesn't matter so much, really. 
Um, let's get rid of this poison. Okay, that didn't get rid of all the poison like I expected. Okay, the poison is like in strange little pockets that we're having to remove. Let's just get rid of it all. We've got the uh, Oath of Desecration skill book again. Oh, look, 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 stuff's disappearing now. Do we have like a water potion? So, not a water potion, a water barrel, I should say. We've got a poison barrel. That's, um. Oh, no, the fire is slowly going away. We'll be fine. Raw meat. Doubt the meat would be that raw. I mean, we pretty much did burn everything to death here. Well, Roderick's taking a lot of pain. <laughs> Unnecessarily. We'll heal him up when our heal spell becomes active, it's fine. We have to go engaging the enemy straight away. So we've cleared out this route now. So this area is now safe. And now the interesting thing from here is we can get behind that other force of enemies um, from this route. Because there's like a mage at the back, and if we can take out the mage first. Mages are always a danger. Spells are not exactly safe things for us to take on. Being able to take out the caster straight away just gives you a slight advantage. You don't have to deal with some horrible magics being thrown your way. Hope we can repair this. There we go, very nice. Getting things repaired. Right. Now I'm here, Roderick. And... We'll probably leave it there, guys, actually, because the, the hour has rolled around once again, so uh, we'll have to have this fight next time. So I will we'll save here. But right now, guys, thank you very much for joining me. Hope you have a wonderful day, as per usual, whatever you're up to out there. Next time, we will take out these fellas, which should be quite a nice fight. Um, we got, what is it? Um, is this two archers? Two archers, this guy, three boars, and... A ghoulish zombie. We haven't faced one of those before. And then we've got this massive cave here, which looks like it could be something potentially important and potentially lead us somewhere else. So we'll discover that stuff next time. So until then, have a wonderful day. As per usual, whatever you're up to out there, and I'll see you for the next one. So until then, good day and goodbye. Have a wonderful day, whatever you're up to. Thank you.